Politics, Weber got his second pole position of the year and Ferrari had made a step forward. Button was the highest placed British driver, while Paul de Resta started his first home Grand Prix from a career best sixth. Hamilton hoped rain would help him on race day, while Perez hoped for a good haul of points. Things didn't go to plan for Schumacher, while Renault had much higher expectations than 14th and 16th. The Toro Rossos got caught out by the weather and didn't achieve their full potential. Daniel Ricciardo replaced Carter Cayen in the second Hispanic. The Silverstone Pits and Paddock Complex might have had a major revamp, but the changeable weather conditions remained. There had been little dry running over the weekend, and Sunday was no different. But a little bit of rain would do nothing to dampen the spirit of the hardened British fans. Sebastian had been beaten by his teammate on Saturday, but he wouldn't be beaten at the start. Alonso protected his position from Massa, while Button moved up to fourth. Vettel pulled away from Weber and Alonso while Button had his hands full with Massa and De Resta made his presence felt behind. The track was drying out. Who would switch to dry tyres first? Felipe took heed of his engineer's enthusiasm. That left Button fifth and defenceless when his teammate cruised by. But the verdict on dry tyres came sooner than expected. Schumacher closed on Kobayashi for eighth, but made a mistake under braking and had to pit for a new nose and got a 10 second stop go penalty. I lost my truck thing. Okay, Michael, are we going for dry tyres, Michael? Are we going for dry tyres? Yes, dry tyres, dry tyres. Kobayashi came in for a scheduled stop two laps later, but got a bit too involved with Maldonado and was handed a 10-second stop-go penalty of his own. Watch, watch, watch! Massa dropped behind Hamilton in the first round of stops and now had to fend off Button. While further ahead, Hamilton was giving Alonso something to worry about. Jensen laid his cards on the table. But Felipe stuck to his guns. Jensen's mum could hardly believe it. Vettel and Weber led up front while Hamilton easily passed Alonso. Okay, great job, Lewis. P3, Weber ahead of us now. But Fernando wasn't finished with Lewis just yet. With a helping hand from DRS, Fernando did the deed just before Lewis took to the pits for a second time. De Resta was seventh, teammate Sutil had a puncture and the team got ready for him. But it was Paul who arrived first. Confusion reigned, and he had to wait for his set of tyres to be fitted.
Paul's home Grand Prix had started so well, but just when he thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. The Force India pitted for a new set of hard tyres, while Bohemi had to retire on track. The rest are just run into me in the middle of the corner. I was on the dry line, I don't know, you break too late and he dried into me. Vettel and Alonso were the last of the front runners to make their second stops. But a delay with the rear jack handed the lead to Alonso. And to make matters worse, Hamilton was now second. Okay, Sebastian, I'm sorry. Alonso P1 had a bit of stop. Hamilton P2 had another cut. The Red Bull mechanics were hands on with their inquest. while Sebastian got to work on seizing second from Lewis. Close, but not close enough. He didn't have to wait too long. After the third round of stops, Hamilton rejoined behind Vettel. Things were on the up for Red Bull, but not so for McLaren. Hello, boys. Jensen pitted. The lollipop went up, and he was clear to go. But not all of his wheels were fixed in place. Front left is not, guys. Is it game over? I'm stopped. OK, Jensen, turn the engine off. That's game over, I'm afraid. Engine is going to overheat if you don't tell me. Turn off. Turn the car off, please. Turn the car off. Jensen was out of the race, while third place Lewis had plenty to contend with. OK, Lewis. Current level of fuel saving, unfortunately, is not enough. We're going to need to do some more to get to the end of the race. OK, let's do what you can, but obviously don't make it easy for him, but we do have to make sure we get to the end of the race. Race engineer Andy Latham had to sit back and watch as Weber returned to a podium position. <laughs> Rosberg and Perez were both two stopping. Sergio had done well to attack his way through the field from 12th, but he just couldn't loosen Nico's grip on six. With just two laps to go, Massa had closed on Hamilton. And with Lewis in fuel-saving mode, he fancied his chances. Five seconds now. Come on, mate. We can do this. We can get him. However, the battle for second and third had taken on a new twist. Be wise now. Be wise. Understood. We understand what you mean, and we're controlling the situation. And hold a three-second gap. One click rearwards to look after that front left. That didn't look like a three-second gap. Mark, you need to maintain the gap. Maintain the gap. Be clear, Mark. Maintain the gap. Maintain the gap, you lot, with a gap of more than 16 seconds, Fernando Alonso won his first race since Korea 2010. <laughs> Weber trailed home third, but made his feelings clear. It had been a valiant attempt by Hamilton, but there was no need to save fuel now.
Racing doesn't get much closer than that. At the chequered flag, Lewis beat Felipe by just two hundredths of a second. Mark, it's, um, I'm sorry about that. We compromised uh, Seb's first stop to allow you the optimum stop on off intermediates onto slicks. Uh, I think it's only fair that we held at the end. Whether he agreed or not, he was not in the mood to chat. Third was not what Weber expected from pole position. Hamilton beat Massa by the smallest of margins. Perez got his best result so far, while De Resta was gutted to finish his first Silverstone 15th. Michael was 17th after his penalty and recovered well to score points. But for Alonso, it had been a long time coming. I knew that it was a race to, to be calm, to put the car on the track always, no mistakes, not uh, being off the track uh, at any moment because the grass obviously is very wet and uh, with no mistakes I knew that the car had uh, enough pace to, to fight for the victory and uh, at the end uh, it came. From now on we'll be always the same thing. Uh, every race we try to, to do like a final, uh, championship hopes are very difficult because uh, Sebastian keep finishing all the races first or second so the only thing we can do is uh, try to, to win every race we go and uh, be very aggressive every race, every star, every strategy will be at the maximum. Mark explained the dissatisfaction with his strategy. 